uh, I will share briefly how to become a billionaire. Hallelujah. And this one is, is titled Part 1. Hallelujah. How to become a billionaire. If you must be a billionaire, when I'm talking about billionaire, I'm talking about the richest people in the world. Because we have billionaires in so many countries. But yet, it is not all of them are in top list of the richest people in the world. So when I say how to become a billionaire, I'm talking about how to become among the richest people in the world. Amen. Amen. So if you want to be a billionaire, you must see beyond where you are. You must see beyond where you are. For you to conquer your territory, you must first of all conquer your territory in your eyes. If you must conquer your territory, you must conquer your territory in your eyes. God speaking to Abraham in the book of Genesis chapter 13. From verse 14, when Lord has departed from him, God said to Abraham, Now from the place where you stand, look northward, eastward, southward, and westward. And verse 15 say, As far as your eyes can see, that have I given to you. So those who must go far, must see far. If you cannot see far, you will never go far. Where you are is a matter and a product of your sight. Where you are is a matter and a product of your sight. So if you must go further in life, you must see beyond where you are. You must see beyond yourself. Hallelujah. So God brings to pass whatsoever that you are able to see. It is impossible for a man to become what he, he, he did not see. When I'm talking about sight, I'm talking about the eyes of your imagination. I'm talking about the eyes of your imagination. Before people begin to uh, drive cars, people begin to produce cars. Men saw those cars in their imagination. And they were able to bring it. And some saw it through their dreams. That's why the Bible says, In the last days I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And he said, And your sons and daughters, they shall see visions. And your old men shall dream dreams. God, God want to take over this world. He want the church to take over the world through visions and dreams. So a man who cannot see far will never go far. Hallelujah. So if you must be a billionaire among the top richest men in the world, top richest women in the world, then you must see beyond where you are. That business that you are doing now can go abroad. It can spread abroad. That business that you are doing now can spread abroad. Amen. Amen. So it's all about the product of your imagination. If you can see it, then you can become it. If you can see it, then you can become it. Hallelujah. Every product on earth today was first of all in someone's imagination every product that you see that men are using today was first of all the product of somebody's imagination the person now brought those imagination that he saw to the reality and men begin to buy with their money hallelujah so i pray for you today that 
grace to see beyond where you are let it come upon you today Amen. grace to see beyond where you are now let it come upon you today Amen. someone used to say it is not where you are that matters but there is a place that god wants to take you but if you can be able to see the place you will arrive at that destination so your destiny is first of all the product of your eyes there are many gifted men that died without fulfilling anything because they were blinded there were many gifted men that wasted away many gifted women that wasted away so many industries that we are not produced because men we are blinded in their eyes i pray for you the spirit of blindness cannot get hold of you Amen. the spirit of blindness can never get hold of you Amen. hallelujah number two give yourself to a lifelong learning give yourself to a lifelong learning the most significant thing i have found among the richest people in the world is that they give themselves to a lifelong learning they give themselves to a lifelong learning so if you must go far learning is very very paramount learning is very important in your life so that is why if you see the richest men in the world they don't just fold their hand and say no i am not the richest man they keep learning and relearning they keep learning and relearning so if you must go far you must learn give yourself to education give yourself to study be an avid reader don't stay adamant and you just you want to just do buying and selling buying and selling alone cannot make you to conquer territories if you must conquer territories then your mind must be educated if you must conquer territories then you must be informed a man who is not informed will be out of form so you must be informed that is why you must learn learn how to read books learn how to study someone was said a mind that is stretched out by a new experience can never go back to its old dimensions so if you can stretch your mind it will not return back so it is your learning capacity that determines your earning capacity it is your learning capacity that will determine your earning capacity so if you if you want to earn more then learn more that's why we have in the university in nigeria here we have if you go to we have some lecturers that we are just newly employed you cannot compare them with those that have been in the system and after that when people begin to upgrade their certificate what comes in their account will be upgraded it is not the same salary that a lecturer collects that someone with doctorate degree collect so learning is very important in your life so if you must go far in business don't play with books don't play with books let me tell you the truth even the business that you are doing now there is a better way to do it there is a better way to do whatsoever that you're doing that is where why learning is very important you don't just stay and say yes i have learned it all you have to give yourself to continuous learning give yourself to continuous learning and you will definitely stand out in your generation i have never seen one of the richest people in the world that don't give his or herself to learning you must give yourself to learning they go to seminars 
make notes hallelujah so your input will determine your output it is your input that determines your output so that is why you have to make sure that what you are learning is not little give yourself to high learning make sure that whosoever that you're reading from know more than you hallelujah and this is how you can make your learning very very important when you learn reflect then implement and after you have implemented then share make sure that you share whatsoever you have learned it is when you begin to share what you have learned that is when impact begins in your life that is when you begin you become a man a woman of impact hallelujah second timothy said that you should study to show thyself approve a workman that did that needed not to be ashamed rightly dividing the word of truth so you have to study to show yourself approved amen number three on how to become a billionaire have a team remove your business from a box that boss is you if you must go far you must learn how to work with a team one person cannot accomplish much one person can never accomplish much you have to work with a team david in the bible was successful because he had a team of warriors he had a team of counselors amen so you cannot really do much as a person that's why if your business must grow to the level of you becoming a billionaire then you must learn how to have a team work with a team amen so in some of your team you have to train them some of your team have to be trained they have to be what trained david saw people that was rejected and uh, they were nobody in the city he called them together and trained them to become warriors and they stood out in their days that anytime men of david were mentioning you will see them calling those that have killed giant so david was not the one person in his team that have killed giant so many members of his team they were giant killers hallelujah jesus christ also had a team jesus christ had a team for three and a half of his three and a half years of his ministry he trained 12 people one betrayed him yeah that is why in your life people there are people that must come in your life and there are people that must betray you but that shouldn't stop you from doing what you ought to do hallelujah but he continued with the 11 today through those he trained the gospel had almost has almost reached all over the world amen so any business without a team have no future any business without a team have no future so if you must go far then you must have a team work with your team train your team communicate with them number four is have a structure have a structure without structure people among you will live anyhow they want without structure you must have rules and regulations in your business have a structure 
What shows that you don't play with what you're doing is when you have a structure, when you have rules and regulations. No organization can go further than the lay down administration. No organization will go further than the lay down administration. So without structure, there is a level that a business will not gain to. Without structure, there is a level that a business will not attain. First Corinthians chapter 14 verse 33 says, For God is not a God of disorder, but of peace, as in all the meetings of God's holy people. So where there is no order, there will be disorder. Where there is no order, there will be disorder. And where there is no order, there will be no peace. People will be quarreling, fighting. Because there is no order. God is a God of order. Your administration should not know who is your brother or sister or even your mother. As long as that person is working with you, that person has to abide by the rules and regulations or be penalized. Amen. So what brought Satan down was because he broke the rules and regulations of heaven. God have administration. He don't play with it. It does not matter who you are. If you break his rules and regulation, you will be punished by it. Heaven is mighty because God had a structure. And no one can break God's structure. That's why God said, I respect my word more than my name. So the word of God is God's structure. It's God's administration. Amen? So that is why when God finished writing his word to us, because the earth cannot contain us and him, he went to heaven and live. So that when we read the Bible, we can understand how we should live our life. And whosoever that is not following the pathway of his administration will be penalized in the last days. So your business has to be structured. Adam was chased out of Eden because he broke the rules and regulations of Eden. So structure is one of the things that will take a business far. If you cannot play with your administration, your laid down administration, that business is said to go for, is said to go far. And I pray for someone, grace to do your business with administration, let it come upon your life. Amen. Grace to do that business with administration, let it come upon your life. Amen. You are not on earth to play. Whatsoever that God has committed in, in your hand, you will give account of it. One of the things that administration does in the life of a businessman is that administration gives you peace. It gives you peace that even when you are not around, people around will follow the administration. Even when you are not around, people around will follow your administration. So you see a lot of churches were closed down after the founder died because there was no administration. A lot of businesses were closed down after the founder died because there was no administration. Amen? So if there is no administration, people will fight. If there is no administration, people will quarrel. So that is why you have to bring a lay down administration. Lay down administration in your business. Lay down administration. Put a structure in that business. And you will see yourself at the top. And I pray for you that grace come upon your life. It is not enough to hear. When you don't do, that means you don't understand. Because understanding will make you to do. 
what shows that you have understand what was taught no matter where you go is that you begin to do that thing because understanding has come in amen knowledge is not enough but understanding makes you to apply knowledge let me say it again knowledge is not enough it is understanding that makes you to apply knowledge so i pray for you get understanding Amen. you see the first prayer point that we pray about opening of eye apostle paul prayed that the eyes of your understanding may be enlightened so it is when you begin to do it means you have understand